So you're really struggling because your blue snowball sounds something like this, or your microphone in general sounds something like this, when in reality, you probably want it to sound similar to this. Well, in this video here today, I'm gonna to be breaking down how you can get that crisper sounding audio quality from your microphone. Let's get to the video. So fortunately, this is a lot easier than a lot of you might think, and what I'm going to be doing is putting two links into the description, and I'm going to have you click on those links to download the following programs. I'm going to walk you through that first, and then I'm going to go through my settings within the application so you understand exactly how to set up your microphone so it can sound like this. So the first link in the description is going to take you right to this website. It'll be listed as the number one link. And this is the VB cable uh, virtual audio device. Now what this does is basically install a driver onto your computer to allow your computer to output audio uh, using this as its output setting. So what you're going to need to do is download this and it's going to download a zip file. So make sure you have a zip reader. If you don't have a zip reader, I think you can use something like seven zip might be the one that I have, but what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open that file up. You're going to want to extract that file, uh, pick a destination for it to extract. I'll just extract it here for, for the purposes and then choose the cable setup that you have. So I have a 64 bit computer, so I would double click this one and basically I would install it. It says remove driver just because I have installed it previously, but you're going to want to go ahead and just install it super straightforward, really easy. Shouldn't have any issues doing that. Now the second link that I'm going to provide for you guys will take you right to the voice meter website and basically you can see that it is compatible with that driver you just installed so that's the reason why we go with that voice meter software. Now scroll down just a little bit. I tend to get the zip file package so just download that. <clears throat> you're going to want to open that up and then what you're going to do is open that up, run the voice meter installation. I'm not going to install it obviously because I already have that but essentially after you install it you are going to get the voice meter application. Just a quick reminder, once the file is finished downloading, you may need to restart your computer if it doesn't work right away. So just keep that in mind. If it's not working, make sure you hit that restart button. Also, if this video helps you in any way, be sure to show some support and hit that like button. So once you have finished installing that, which shouldn't take too long at all, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your voice meter app. Now, these are the settings that I use. And what I would recommend doing is kind of playing around with them to understand exactly what you're going to be getting for your microphone quality and really tailor it to match what you want to use as your microphone sound. So you can change a lot of these different settings. You know, you can, you can just basically play around with them, make sure you can uh, hear the differences, test them out, figure out what each thing does. So if I just click around, you get an example of it. Anyways, these settings right here are the ones I would recommend and then just toy around with it a little bit. So what you're going to want to actually do as your hardware input, this should be blank. Uh, I think all the way this one will be blank as well when you first start it up. So what you're going to want to do is select what microphone you're using. So I'm using the blue snowball, but I have like a webcam microphone here. There's a couple different audio things that it has as an input. You can use whatever microphone you're using that is showing up. So for me, I select the blue snowball here. And then the audio output, now this is what the first file was actually for. So basically it's gonna kick it out as your audio file. So no longer in the programs that you actually wanna record your voice, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are using this as the input for the audio on those programs. I'll give you an example in OBS. So this never looks pretty when you're trying to record in OBS and show everything that's going on, but essentially I'm just going to break it down for you. When you look in your settings for your microphone, you're going to want to go to properties and then in properties, it will default to blue snowball right here, but you actually don't want it to be like that. You want to select that VB audio cable and then go ahead and click OK. And that is all you have to do to set it up. It's super simple and really straightforward. Now, if this video helped you in any way at all, make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I talk a little bit about what I'm doing on YouTube within my channel, but mainly what I do there is focus on stocks and investing. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to head over to my channel and check out some of those videos. If you guys have any questions at all whatsoever, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.